In today's lesson, we want to discuss about circle geometry. So we'll be looking at this topic, circle geometry. So we ask ourselves, what do we mean by a geometry? A geometry is simply the study of shapes. So when we talk about circle geometry, we are talking about the study of the shapes of circles. So that's what we are going to learn. So in order to deal with this topic properly, there are a few things we need to know. We need to talk about cuts. We need to talk about arcs. So first of all, what do you mean by a chord of a circle? We can say that a chord is a line segment joining any two points on the circumference of a circle. Just for instance, you have a circle of this nature. This is a circle. Then you have two points on the circumference of this circle. So let's say you have a point here. This is a point. This is another point. So probably you call this point A. And you call this one point uh, B. Now, this line segment, the line segment here, joining this point A and B, is what we refer as a chord. So, this is what we now call a chord. So, now it is a line, a line segment, joining any two points on the circumference of a circle. The other thing we have to observe about this chord is that it divides a circle into two parts. So, as you can see, you see that this line has divided this circle into two parts. So here you have the first part. As we go further in this topic or in this discussion, we are going to define this part, each of these parts, what we call them. So here you have another part. So it divides this into two parts. So that's what we call a chord. But you remember there is a particular line that divides a circle into two equal parts. That is, divide the circle into two semicircles. This is a chord, but it is a special kind of chord. So as you can see here, it is a special kind of chord, which we now call a diameter. So as you can see now, this is a chord. As you can see, it is a chord. It joins two points here. This is point A and this is point B. Then there is another chord, as we can see, joining another two points. Maybe there is a point here, which we call X. Maybe you call here X. Maybe you call here y. This point is the center of the circle. So this is the center of the circle, which we call O. The center of the circle. So this particular chord that now passes through this center of the circle is what we call a diameter. So in actual fact, a diameter is a chord, but it is a special kind of chord because one, it passes through the center of the circle. Then two, it divides the circle into two equal parts. But other chords we not divide the circle into two equal parts. We divide it into two parts so that one part will be greater than the other part. So this is what we call a chord. Now, having talked about chord, it's now important to talk about an arc of a circle. An arc of a circle can be defined as a curve. Or in a pure geometrical sense, we can define an arc as a continuous part of a circumference of a circle. So it's either you call it a curve in a layman's understanding, or in a geometrical sense, you can say that it is a continuous part of a circumference of a circle. So for instance now, you have a circle, okay? So we can see there is a curve here. So let's say we have our normal two points, okay? So let's see, we have our points here. We have our points here. So we have our normal point A and point B. And of course, we have a line segment joining these two points, which we call a chord. If you look over here, if you watch over here, there is a curve here. This is a curve. So this curve now is what we refer as an arc. So we're going to call here, so this one, so this is an arc. So we call this an arc. So this is an arc of a circle. You also agree with me that there is also another curve from here to here. There's another curve here. So this curve is also an arc. So we can also call this one an arc. Whenever you have this now, so you have two arcs. But there are difference between these two arcs. You see, one is larger than the other. For instance here, you see that this one is a smaller arc compared to the other one. So this one that is smaller is what we call a minor arc. So instead of calling this one just an arc, we call it a minor arc. So here you have a minor arc. Then the remaining arc, which you see, this one now, you see that this one is larger. So this one that is larger is what we will now refer as a 
major arc. So we're going to call this one a major arc. We can also say another thing about a chord. You see that a chord divides a circle into a minor and a major arc. So this is another attribute of a chord. So it divides a circle into a minor arc and a major act. So this is another property of a chord. Now, having talked about a major arc and a minor arc, so you see that this arc is just, is just a, a curve, as we have said. Now, the region covered by this arc, we're going to define it now. So now, if we come over here, you see that the minor arc now covers this region. So this region is covered by a minor arc. So this particular region now, covered by this minor arc, is what we call a minor segment. So we're going to call here a minor segment. While this region now, covered by this major arc, is what we're now going to refer as a major segment. So here, we're going to call here a major segment. So the curve itself could either be a minor or major. So the arc itself could be a major arc or a minor arc. Why the region bounded by the major arc you call a major segment. As you can see, call here a major segment. Then the region bounded by the minor arc is what you call a minor segment. So we can also say a new thing about a chord. So we can also say that a chord divides a circle into a major segment and a minor segment. So there are so many things you can say about chord. So that's what we need to talk about now. So we have talked about what a chord is, talk about an arc. We also talked about the types of arcs. And from there, we also talked about segments where we mentioned the, the major and the minor segments. So in the subsequent video now, we look at more properties of these chords and we look at examples as associated with uh, these properties.